the story so far. Having assembled all five eggs, Layton and the others are ready to solve the other one's greatest puzzle. Believing that they will restore her memory, Aurora prepares to awaken the other one's eggs. Right, well, let's uh, restore that memory. Let's uh, see what's actually going to happen. Alright, I'm going to release the power contained within the ore, ore stones. Are you all ready? Yep. This is it, Professor. It certainly is, Luke. Then let's begin. Dot to dot. The eggs, they are shining. Except one, apparently. Wow, the eggs are glowing. Yes, but for whatever reason, one of them remains inactive. This is not an aura stone. It's not? Y you mean it's fake? I... I don't understand. If it were a fake, then... It would not have resonated in my hands when we first acquired it. Then presumably, the real stone was swapped out at some point and replaced with a counterfeit. It's got to be Targent. They are the only ones sneaky enough to do something like this. I'm pretty sure it's Sycamore. Pretty sure. But why go to all the, tra the trouble with the one with the eggs? They could just as easily have swapped out all of them. Hmm. Then perhaps their intent is not to hinder us, but to guide us? Peso, their, their intentions aren't what's important right now. What matters is getting that egg back. You're absolutely right, Amy. But how might we track it down? That's a point. If... It really is Tarjan doing. It won't be easy to take down one of their airships. If I may interrupt, there is a possibility the new location of the Aura Stone may be on the walls of the Az Azran Dome. Oh really? If that's the case, then our troubles are allied. Or allied, 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 allied. Let's go there immediately. The Azran Dome was in code, wasn't it? Full speed ahead. Alright, let's go to Con. Sure. Uh, sure, we can do a separate save for this one, in case I need to do something. Chapter 5 Into the Nest. Oh, she changed to her uh, previous uh, clothing. Um, Amy, do you. Dislike my outfit? Not at all. Those other robes are part of who you are. They're not something I would wear, but they suit you perfectly. I think I feel more comfortable like this. Hahaha. <laughs> then my days as a fashion advisor are, are over. Well, off you go then. You, re you need not worry about me. I'm fulfilling the, my mission. The purpose for which I'm here. I should go then. I have found it. I believe that the real aura stone can be found in this location. Ah, that is unfortunate, but not unexpected. Hmm, you know this place, Professor? I'm afraid so. The egg is currently being kept in Tarjan's headquarters, at the center of a foul, unsavory place called the Nest, not known as the Nest. Then it was indeed Tarjan who stole the fifth egg and replaced it with a fake. But Professor, we can't simply walk into Tarjan base, can we? No. This will be a very dangerous operation. If we are to infiltrate Tarjan base, we will have to keep our senses sharp. But we do that anyway, don't we? 
In fact, I've been meaning to say, didn't you feel something different about code this time? I wonder if all the places we visited have changed. Maybe we should go back and make sure we haven't missed any puzzles. The boy's right. We should make sure we are completely prepared for attempting to visit the nest. Oh, I did miss a few few, apparently. Oh, let's go real quick and uh, have a chat with kids. Fifty points, all right. You learn too. Oh no, Professor Sycamore has been a bit too creative in the engine room, and it's all gone horribly wrong. The pipe that supplies the engine with fuel has shattered into little pieces. The emergency fuel supply will keep the airship airborne for now, but the broken fuel pipe needs to be fixed. And soon, use the pieces on the touch screen to reconnect the engine to the fuel supply. Bear in mind, you have to link up every last piece, but you can't place any of the white squares. But you can't place any of the white square in the top left. I only have one white square. Okay, can I move it? I can't even move it. What's the point of? Okay. I, I don't get it, but okay, I will, uh, I will, I will work with it, I guess, I don't know. So... Da, 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 da. I wonder if maybe this is a better option, so we can, like, build into the... Um, so let's try that. So we have that, we have this. But we are supposed to use the entire map in this uh, stuff. Missing a piece in order to do this, uh, probably not that. Yeah, I could just put a normal pipe. Then do this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this is kind of dead end uh, in a way. Okay, let's try something else. Uh, not this. If I had to guess, we need to, I mean, we do need to build around this thing. It's possible to do something like this as well. Let's try something else then. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
what can be my starting piece? What can be my starting piece? I mean, we can technically also try to start with it, but... Let's not do it uh, just yet. Yeah, this is a no... Yeah, but I don't have a... I do have these ones, don't I guess? A part of the reason I use this and the other one, what is uh, the other one? This one and the other one? because they specifically fit in this area so it seems to make sense to me but maybe that's not the way yeah. maybe I need to do something from here if we do this for example instead of go down Can I pull it downwards somehow? Do not think I can. Okay. What about this angle? Oh. See anything fitting in there? This goes up and dies off basically. It does seem like a very specific setup, right? Like I have to have uh, this one to make it longer and then I need to have uh, this one to go here and then go into that. Like if I do this, we are not using this area, so it won't uh, be a good solution for this puzzle. So I have to use this. And this one kind of forces us to use this. And then we are kind of stuck. I mean, normally I would just do this and finish the the thing, but you know, I can't do this because we need it. We need to fill the entire place with the the walls for this thing. To figure something else around them. No, I can't do that. I can't do this because the positioning is off. I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't do this. I can't do that. Yeah, it's all messed up. Up. Okay, I can use this to go back up, and I can use this to go down. So this way we use a different pipe at the beginning. Okay, it might be that my my pathway is correct, but just not correct in that specific area. So I just need to do like slight adjustments. Very slight adjustments. Say this, let's say that, and then let's say this. 
Okay, let's check. Yeah, that seems correct. Nice. There we go. My intuition should serve me well. A satisfying puzzle indeed. Crisis averted. Professor Sycamore should really wait until he is firmly on the ground before fiddling around with the airship engine. Meow. Okay, snake team. Snake squeezing 11. Squeezing a selection of citrine saffrons into a small pot like this is no problem for an experienced snake charmer. In fact, you can definitely fit 11 in this pot, even though it only looks as big enough for 10. There's no trickery involved, and snakes don't overlap each other. Go on, see if you can fit only 11 snakes into this pot. Okay, so these ones are shaped differently from before. So I can't use the same setup as last time properly. Alright, so let's see what we are working with. Can fit these two like this. Are there any... I mean this one I guess. And then this one like this. It can go several ways, so I will wait. Um, let's see where they are fitting. Like this goes slightly off, so let's move it one over. As long as I fit the main, it shouldn't matter. Right. Okay, well, that's a bit uh, troublesome. Uh, hmm. I mean, it might not be right. I just set them up like this because it just made sense at the moment, but might not be correct. I'll put you here. This won't fit. Um, 
Yeah, but this one is the only one that is like fitting in like this. I found what I'm doing with this knife. Well, this knife is uh, quite different from the other ones. Since it's a straight up snake. These two kind of can fit together. And for these two though. At most, this can be a dislocation, okay. Uh, I don't have any other ones that will fit inside the tail. From what I can tell. But this one does fit, I guess. Let's say that you are not here. Seems too fitting to not fit them. Um. Ah, okay. So this one is not here. I don't know what to do with this guy. Seems like the old man out. Thank you. 
Yeah, no, let's do something else. Okay, let's say I'm walking with you. Where can I fit other people inside your body? So, you fit inside this. And we know that we have uh, this other guy that fit inside this guy. Was it you? No. This tankly does fit inside his body. This one fade but it doesn't fit completely. And for this. And for that. Okay, for saying it's like this. This one, I can fit this one here. the one that fit inside the body of this guy. This one I think? Yeah, this one. Problems, problems, problems. It can go down a bit, but don't really sell or anything. I don't think it helps me in any way to do this. I don't see a shape that fits this uh, weird setup, so this won't help me. Uh, Yeah, 
This can't fit silly girls. So I can find a different place for it. Maybe. Can the ugly move everything up a bit? Well, some of it I can move up, not everything. Maybe this can move up. This can move up. This might be able to move up, I don't know. This one can't. This can be set up in several ways. Alright, so what else do we have here? sense to me that it's like this go and go in all the way like it seems like a waste of space this makes more sense but then this is a problem What are we doing here? And this is back to where I was earlier. Setting it on this side doesn't seem to make that much sense to me, so it should be this side. It can be up, it can be down, I don't know. It can be anywhere. Theoretically, move it forward. It's better for me. It seems the same.
is in same as well. So I'll move this snake and put this thing on down here. I can do like here or a different place, I don't know. Uh... It seems very odd that this is like fitting perfectly to these two. It's like a very strange fit. else can I do it all? That will make more sense to me then. No, not all really. We can feel this thing like this, theoretically. So whenever we have like uh, this kind of setup, we can just fill them up with this guy. But I think he is the only thing we can use for that. Alright, um, let's put this guy away for a moment. Confuses me. So, this kind of world. This one's kind of wall. We do have two triangles, so we can fill up these areas, like this and that. And then a flat surface. This is a flat surface, but it's a bigger one. This is taller than what we have. Uh, do I have any other flat surfaces around? Uh, not really. Maybe I can do something like this and... Uh, there. These two fit together. It does overlap with this guy though.
I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? And I don't have anything that is like in these specific shapes that's making it uh, kinda difficult to make. And that doesn't seem to be anything that can make use of that. So. These three can't fit together. I don't need a flat surface like this one. I do not believe I am. Do you have any guides off right from the bottom, I guess? This guy, I guess, kind of. Yeah, these two fit together. But then it ruins this setup. this setup. Like this is to be together to not get in. <sighs> These guys can't fit I guess. Then what do I do with the rest of it? <laughs> uh, hmm. What do I do with the rest of it?
something I have uh, an upper triangle, we only have the lower triangles. That's uh, turning out to be a pain in the ass. Um, hmm. so we have a snake fitting with another snake, fitting with this snake, fitting with this snake, this doesn't fit down. Snake with the triangle right there. So let's set uh, these guys out together. How do I fill up the rest of the space? Fill up the rest of the space, which means that this is this is probably not. Uh, uh, it's kind of fits here, but. Clashing with the other ones, it fits together with it. Is there anyone else that can fit in? Hmm, I don't think so. Okay. The struggle is real now. This doesn't have to fit with this guy. Also fitting with the other ones, kind of. These two do have to fit together. No, no one else fits like this. It's a bit overlapping here though. Overlap. A little bit of overlap. Which means I need to find a different place for it.
Yeah, it doesn't fit anywhere. Well, okay then. That sucks. Uh... I think I'm going to take a, a hint with this one. It's just, there, there is just too much options. There are just too much options. First of all, place the right snake in the top left of the pot. The white snake should then be placed at the bottom left of the pot. Top left and bottom left. Okay, red and white. Top left of the pot. So this top left or this top left? Uh -huh. uh, top left and the other one is bottom left, right? The white thing should then be placed bottom left. Yeah, I don't see how this is fitting. Like, we don't have this shape at all. I need to see where they are going, I don't understand. The long green snake should be placed slightly below the center of the pot, so that it, it is touching the two snakes in positions, according to instructions in one. The long green snake needs to be touching both of them. Slightly below the middle. What? Once you've done that, see if you can fit the other green snake, the purple snake, and the smallest blue snakes into the spaces that left in the bottom white. So the bottom white should have green, purple, blue. Green. Help out on the space and brood on the space. Yeah, something just doesn't seem right about that. Once you've done that, see if you can fit the outer green snake, the purple snake, and the smooth blue snakes into the space that's left in the bottom right. Man, this doesn't make sense. So I assume that something is wrong then. I doubt they want me to sell it like this.
Yeah, no, I think I'm misunderstanding something. Yeah. Either that or just don't see where they're going with this. Because this... So far doesn't seem like anything to me. Snake, the long green snake should be placed slightly below the center of the board. So it is touching the two snakes you position. It's touching them just doesn't fit together. Place the rest snake at the top left of the board. The white snake should be placed at the bottom left of the board. This is left, this is left, this is uh, top, this is bottom. I don't, I don't get this one. The yellow and dark blue snakes should be positioned so that their tails link together. The yellow and dark blue snake. The yellow and the dark blue snake. Okay, so I was right about this. And I assume it's like something... Uh, Almost a bang in the middle of the pot. Almost a bang in the middle of the pot. Well, I guess they're kinda in the middle. It's more of a middle, I guess. This just seems to make more sense to me. I don't see how these guys are supposed to fit in. We are going all in. The pink snake should be slotted in between the yellow snake and the red snake in the top left. The pink snake should be slotted between the yellow snake and the red snake. In the top left. So they're saying they should be here. That means this needs to move. Why it's like this? Which means but all of this needs to move around a bit. I'm sorry, but that's not the point. I 
Hey, that's on top left, I mean. Uh, between the yellow snake. The pink snake should have free slot between the yellow snake and the red snake in the top left. Press the orange snake in the top right corner. There's only one more seven left. Press the orange snake in the top right. Oh. Then it spreads it outside. <laughs> Am I going crazy? This seems to be incorrect. Okay, there we go. Okay, Emmy, time to shine. Man, this is looking so messed up. Bring on right. the next one. I I, I won't have been able to do it. That's that's too confusing for me. They're all snug inside the pot. Although they might snuggle to get out again, but they heal the favorite too now. Like I was very close to it earlier, but this just seems very odd for me. That it will allow us to finish it like this. A ship of tiles. Okay, 60 points. You have a section of 300 tiles in three different colors red, white, and blue. By laying these tiles carefully, you should be able to recreate a ship displayed on the top screen. Slide tiles into the grid and see if you can build up this picture. Okay. The so first way to dunk a bunch of blues. Uh, that might be here. Okay, looks like we will need to also use several of them. Okay, let's keep it like this for now. Because these are the only certain ones I know that I need to have in this way. So we now have to have over here. Then we have one, 
two, three, over here. No, one, one over. One here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm one over. That's one. Wait, if I'm one over, it needs to be this way. Uh, to have it like this which means that this is my other area now oh, but this covers the entire thing I just need to Over here. Yeah, this this is better. Okay. And this is here. Okay, so we need to have the blues. can do it like this I need the white in between in between so I definitely need to cut uh, I need to cut the line off with the reds uh. you're all done I'm just going to keep it here for now. Uh, we don't need any of them at the bottom wall, so I'm not going to even bother. Uh, okay, so according to this... to have three missing here, one missing here. In order to create this shape, it would be easier for me to take this up here. creates this shape. I need to fix this last one here, but I will figure something with it in a second, I guess. 
Good move, this one is good. Okay, so now I just need to figure out uh, these two blues in the... Alright. We do have a blue under here. Messing everything up. So if I put it here, it will cover one of them. Have a blue under this right? Okay, so we can Basically, the blue to just take over this specific zone. If I do that, it don't make sense. Um, let's see, how can I achieve that? I take it all the way to the wall. Huh? Okay, 
Uh, but this needs to be below. Okay, so I need to follow that, which means we have this here, which we then follow. We'll follow it. As long as we can't have the white. Uh, So how do I... I need to have a blue heel in order to achieve that. And then the white... This is what's going to make this happen. I need the blue to stay here. I need the white to color this red. I could just pull this in and do that, but. Um, the problem is we still don't have the other blue. I'm missing the other blue here. Questions, questions, questions. Um, how do I achieve that? Um, do I have an extra blue hiding somewhere? Okay. 
Do you have a blue underneath here? Okay, the reason why this one is uh, not white is because I still need to put them in. Okay, the problem is I need to have a blue here. So in order to get this specific blue, I press one right here. It will give me that single uh, one I need. But it won't give me the other single one I need. So now to get the other single one, I need another blue somewhere. Okay. I only have one blue. I only have one blue. How do I make what I need with a single blue? Single blue and two whites. Single blue and two whites. Okay, so the background needs to be white. If I set the blue there, no, if I set the, set the white there, set the blue on top of it, then the problem is how do I reveal the blue and still keeping it white? So. I need, I need two blues in order to achieve that. Can't see where to do it with a single blue, only two blues. I have the one next to the wall. Can I somehow use the one next to the wall to create this other one? Mm, if I set a white, set a white, it covers everything, so it, I can pull it back up. How do they want me to do that? I set this one here. Gives me the rest of the color I, well, I need to put it here. I get the rest of the color I need. But then to get this blue here underneath it, 
I will need to bring uh, one there. But, and then place the other white either here or here, but then it will cover the other one. So that's why I keep keep going in circles because I keep needing another blue. I can't I can't do it with another blue. Um, I need to find if I have like uh, an overlapping blue somewhere. So I can use it. But right now it's not going to work. Again, it won't help me. Again, it won't help me. <sighs> yeah, we're stuck in a situation where. This blue here, but then we only have one. Hmm. I need to figure a way to do that. We have a blue hiding in there. I can do it all. No, I do not. I do not. You have to be able to complete the cycle. That's a problem. So I can only have one window on my ship. Basically. I can only have one window on my ship. And I need two windows on my ship. How do I generate another window? This is the single window I can get. We do this, place the tail, and we got our window. I need to make another one. How do I get another one? I do have another white sheet. That's something I have. We have another white sheet. I bring this back on to this. But then again, it covers this one. If I press it here. Place it here. Same result. Same result. <sighs> I 
trying to steal a bloom. I need to steal a bloom from something. This is if if it was this setup easy. This I can do, but just missing one of them. What if? I place you here. What if I place you here? Put it here, then make the back will back up. It won't really change anything. Unless. Okay, let's pull you out of there. Let's put you in here. Put this here. Okay, so... Does that even work? You have to get help? Sure. Shoot. Shoot, Mr. Pebs. You also want me to restart? I mean, I can restart, don't remind, I didn't... Uh, it's not hard to get to this uh, position. It's just that I don't have uh, one less blue to work with here. You just got in. I mean, even, even if I restarted, it would be the same situation. Basically, the problem is... That I need to get two blue windows, and I can only make one window. So, and then we will get to the same situation. So, I can restart, but it will be the same thing, so, you know. I can do it, if you want me to. But it will uh, probably lead to the same thing. How do I get cubes? You basically block off the other stuff. So, see, if I do this... There you go, I got the cube. You basically need to... Cover the tile with the other tiles, and then you get a cube. So I can get one, but I can't get the other one. Because the way that we are... Because we only have one of them. If I, if I had two of them, I can put one here and one here, and then cover them, and then we won't have an issue. But we only have one. You don't see what I just did? Okay, so... For example, we take this blue, okay? I place this blue here, okay? So I click on this white tile that is in the back. And then... We limited the squares to only be this section. Now we click on the red that I said below. And these reds cover the rest of the blue. Which creates a single blue square. That's basically how you make like small squares. So this is how I made it. But the problem is that we need two of them. And in order to get two of them, I usually have two tiles. And in this case, I don't have two tiles. So it's... This thing. <laughs> so 
Like I thought of using maybe this one, because we also have one here. You see, we have one sitting here. But the problem with this one is that it's being covered no matter what I do. Okay, never mind, I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very confusing puzzle. I mean, I can, we can start it so you can see the entire thing. So, you see, this is what we start with. So, the normal way you usually go about it is you set all the background as you see it. So, you see, this is my background, so I need to have all of this. All of this for the, more, for the most part. It might, it might change a bit here and there, but this is for the most part my background, okay? This one we can move a bit up because we see that uh, there is a thing over there. Okay, now we know that there is a red here, according to the map. So we have that, and now we have this red set up over here. So this red is ready. And now we have this zone to build the ship. So we know the ship is here, or well, we know that it's here. I said it too far left. What do you mean too far left? Who did I say too far left? The blue? It's because I need a background. If I don't have that, I don't have the background. I have to have a background over here. That's why I have it all, all over here. The mast? Oh yeah, I did set it one off. It's fine, I can fix it. It doesn't matter that much. See? Now it's, uh, it's where it's supposed to be. This this is like small fixes. This is not a big problem. The big problem is that I need uh, I need more blues than I have. <laughs> uh, so we do this in order to do that. So now we move this up. Now we have the tail. We do this in order to get that. We do this. The lower one we will fix in a second with the white part. And this one we put here. And actually I don't have to put this one here. We move this. And then I have this here. And we are more or less where I was earlier. So you see now we are with the whites. Now I just put this here. And we cover this back up. There we go. Okay. I do have two blues now. So I might actually be able to do it now. Earlier didn't work because I was missing one. Which means that I probably lost someone somewhere. So I might be able to just pull it off now. Uh, let's see. So I need to have my blue heel. So in order to do that... Let's say that I'm doing that. I'm doing this. Let's pull you back out. Uh, I'm doing things in the wrong order. Uh, hold on. I mean, theoretically, it can be down here, and then it will be less of a problem. It can be down here. Okay. So let's do that. Alright, so now this is done. This is window number one. Name a character in the game, person? What do you mean, person? I don't. I can't name anything. Can't name anything. Um, should I press it here? No, to do that. Should I press it here? Um, 
I dance and do steam stream out of person. Oh, I see. And I can't undo. Well, you already have a name. It's called the uh, Thai, aka me. So, <laughs> so it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't rename the character to already have a name. Uh, but uh, hold on, I need to fix this. I need to fix this. Um, so in order to have this set properly. I use this lower one. Means the next one to be a uh, upper one. But this will cover the entire blue section, which won't work. So let's move it to one over. Means it will be in this section. Okay. Now I lost my blue. Need my blue. Okay, hold on. All right. So we have this, we have that, we have this. We. That you first, or the other one first? Let's add this first, I guess. Don't really matter. Okay, it's too high up, it's messing me up. Needs to be lower. Okay. So this is our setup. Now I need to have the other setup. Play this one. So let's place it here. Cover it up. The white then will be. This section. Okay, so let's do it like this. And it's covered the other one. I need to reveal the other one before I do that. Um, Messing up. Uh, idea place the three white so that all the tops are the top of the left frames, whites, and one apart from each other, then place the two. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, even, even if I understood your description, it's very confusing. <laughs> even if I understood what you were just saying now, it was very confusing. <laughs> Uh, it's a confusing puzzle. Yeah. Definitely can agree with you on that. It is a confusing puzzle. That's probably why they don't give us too many of these. Because they are uh, rather confusing. Okay, I need to achieve that without messing things up too much. Um, let's see. Right now, you are positioned like this. Let's position you here, so it's a bit easier for me to move things around. Well, that's kind of messed up everything. 
Okay. Needs to be this one. Okay, so now I need to fix this uh, section to have a white in it. Which I could do by moving this one over. Yeah, we can move this one over and then make the other one and then walk with the other one. Let's see. Uh, so now we have this. Okay, so now I need to have a blue heel. Means the white needs to be here. Another white is below. Okay. And you need to be pulled down. Although now it's getting messed up again. No. All right. All right. All right. This is what I have set up. Fix that. That's great. Uh, what we want over here. Let's blow you one to make it a bit easier on my life. Uh, oh, I see why I did it like this. Uh, well, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, we have to pull it up. So we pull it up, we have it like this. So now the section we need to work with is this one and that one. We have this and we have that. Okay. Now in order to create our blues, let's see our positions are this one and that one. So we position it like this, then cover this one, then we position this one this way, which will create a copy, and we need to place the white in which way in order to do that, I place it here. As a teal. The white will need to be covering all of that, so that's not working. So need to be here properly. Calm down. Let's move you here. Oh, 
that he was uh, actually Pentius. Uh, Let's do the, the inside one first, because the inside one is a bit more annoying. So now we have the outside one. Okay, the outside one is a bit easier to work with. We have this, we have that, we have this, and we have that. Set him there up we and go. Knock him down. I kept trying to do it from the inside, which was a mess. I just need to do it from the outside. Who's the mad? You've got your ship. Now all you need is a desert island. Okay, number 96, Perplexing Patterns. <laughs> 96, okay. After a busy day in his shop, the owner has run out of gift shops. He can use, however, he can use. However, he spots some leftover, a red card, and decides to make some more from that. The colored cube's nets is provided show how this single sheet of red card can be divided into eight new boxes. The entire sheet of cards must be used up, and the nets cannot overlap. Feel free to rotate them down. Right. So time for this puzzle again. Let's see what we can do. Let's I'm doing this. This doesn't fit there, this doesn't fit there, this doesn't fit there. Okay, so this is a bad location for this guy. Alright. Let's try this. This won't work well, so let's take it out. Let's try this. And let's try that. This doesn't fit well because we want a space for the other stuff. Same for this one. Okay, so this is not the setup we are supposed to work with. Alright. Uh, what else can I try? Let's try to flip it. No, this doesn't create what I need. This doesn't create what I need. I'll try to press it down, but then it creates this issue. This one fits here. I guess I should try to see where this one fits in. Because this one is quite big. Uh, then walk around it, maybe. Uh, like this won't work because we don't have anywhere to walk with it. This won't work. This one down here. Okay. I don't have a square shape, so no matter what I do here, it won't work properly. I do have this shape, but different, so it won't work. 
This won't work. This won't work. This won't work. This seems to be the best spot for this guy. The problem is that uh, do I have a shape for this area? I guess this can kind of work. Okay, but then we have a two which I cannot use. We have a dissection which creates a problem. Okay, there we go, discovers this problem. Then we have that. Need a slightly longer option in order to fit down. Sure. Do I have this shape to fill the gap down? I don't think I do. And I don't. Okay, let's wait with this guy then. This won't work, this won't work. This won't work. No. Okay, so this setup is probably wrong as well. I'm going to use it in a corner. If I'm going to do it in a corner, I need to make sure the corner fits. Like this one, for example. But then I need something to fill this gap, which we do not have. Kind of going back to what I did earlier. Maybe I was right. Um, no, but now it doesn't fit. Uh, There we go. Set him up and knock him down. Huh, that was a doddle. That walk, you've shown how you can make eight cute boxes from this awkwardly shaped piece of card and without wasting any of it. And number 100. Meow. Directing a delivery to. Oh boy. Uh, this clown has a delivery of flowers to make, but he needs a little bit of help finding his way. Assign the four commands, jump, a square, turn left, turn right, and go forward, to the four animal symbols to plow the clown's route. Alright, alright, so... Let's see what happens if we do this. We do that. Okay, this leads us off, so not a good idea. This will... Uh... What if I go with this first? So we go 
forward we go right we go forward we go right from this position which means we will go here then we will go right again and right again which will make us go forward and then the right and then we'll go to the elephant and then the elephant we will take a left so we take a left we go to the bear the only thing that there is left for the bear is the jump so we jump from the bear we go to the elephant we go to the elephant we go left we go left again we get to the bear we jump we get to the rabbit which takes us right and then we get to the bear which is a jump left forward left left jump forward forward left and then all right that might be correct let's check it out so our positions are four jump right left okay so it will be like this like this and now when we get here will be right 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 forward then right then left then right which takes us forward then right jump no wait no no i made a mistake forward right forward okay we get here so now we are taking a right means we go here go here go here we go here Take a right, we get the elephant. The elephant is left, I think. I need to see what's. Let's see. I did it in my head, and it seems good in my head, so we need to see if it works with this thing as well. Yep, there we go. This was quite the conundrum. Uh, doing it is uh, is messed up, but in my head it works better. There we have it. That's right. The command needs to be assigned as follows: Cat go forward, build jump square, rabbit turn right, elephant turn left. The little girl enjoyed the show as much as the flowers. All right, so we got everything. Let's see if we have any leftover puzzles. We do. Oh ho! Hello! Did I tell you I'm hosting a little soiree tomorrow? It's essential for a lady to maintain her social connections. Well, entertaining guests is a laudable pursuit. And there is a certain skill to being a good host. I wish I could say I was the perfect hostess, but it isn't easy. Especially when you have to deal with fussy guests. Okay, this one should be a bit easier. It's dirty. Tears for answers. Sonia organizing a little soiree and intends to be the perfect host. She has heard that three of her guests are rather fussy and will be terribly offended if she offers them anything other than their favorite beverage. Her friends each give her a tip. B likes T and CH choose. A likes milk or tea, while B hates juice. Either B or C likes milk, and A hates juice. Sadly, one of these tips is utter rubbish. Still, can you help Sonia work out what to offer each of her fussy guests? Okay, so one of them is basically a lie, which means we need to figure out which is the lie. Alright. If B likes D and C is juice, let's say that the first one is correct. Okay. Then the next one says A likes milk, which or T, which I mean it's possible. It will take it will take the milk in this case because B will take the, the T. And then it says while B eats juice, which is fine, B can I juice. 
But so it means that. Uh, okay, but that's mean that C will have to take the Jews, which will make a conflict. So this doesn't work out. Okay, so either A or B are the. Uh, either the first statement or the second statement is wrong. Probably. Okay, so let's uh, say that uh, the second one is the wrong one. So B likes D and C has Jews. Okay, so C won't get the Jews. B might get the T or it will get milk. Either or B, either B or C likes milk and A ate Jews. Okay, since we know that both A ate Jews and C ate Jews, it means that B will take the Jews. And it will also mean that C will take the milk and A will take the tea. So technically it does work out, but we don't give each of them what they like. So let's try to work with, this, uh, with the other sentence. A likes milk or tea, which is fine, while B H juice. Okay, and either B or C likes milk, and A hates juice. Okay, so according to this current setup, B will either take milk or C will take milk. A will take tea in that case, and B will take. B will take... Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I'm saying that it's a lie rather than rubbish, so it's a lie, B likes tea, which means B doesn't like tea, and C a juice, which means C like juice. Then the other stuff would be that C should take the juice in that case, and B take the milk, which means that C, no, that's A, that A will take the milk, the, uh, the tea, which does work out. Okay, so according to this logic, the first statement is a lie, and the other ones kind of work together with it. So, okay. So we're saying that C like juice. C likes juice. We're saying that B will take the milk. Let's double check. Okay. And A H juice. Okay, we know that A H juice and he likes either milk or tea. And uh, we only have tea, so it should work out, I believe. This was quite the conundrum. Yep. Okay. And there we have it. Splendid. A likes tea, B likes milk, and C likes juice. Perhaps one of Sonia's friends wanted to make B drink the tea he hates so much. But you're not going to let a grudge spoil her perfect part. But she's not going to let a. Uh, okay. Oh good, I really couldn't have my guests peering env endlessly at each other drinks. It would ruin the atmosphere. Wow, I would never think of all of that. I suppose I should strive to be more of a lady too. Alright, next. Do you have something for me? Hehehe, <laughs> spread the world. We are going to bring the core denomination to life. Yeah, nothing. Do you have something for me? Fresh mignon, get your fresh mignon here, all there. Got a nice big pike in this morning, I can give you a cut if you like. We've never really had a chance to stop and browse. What are those fun little silverfish then? Those are big scales sand smelt. Bit of a mouthful, eh? A delicious mouthful, though. 
if you bury them and fight them. Lake Cod seems to have an extraordinarily rich variety of fish. Yep, it looks so quiet from here, but under the surface it must be seething with all kinds of fish. Lucky for me, eh? It's not uh, just a lake though, our little town may look quiet, but there is so much life. It took me a while to see too, I used to live in a big sea seaport 20 miles west of here, but in this little pond I am the biggest fish. Well, you seem to fit very well here. Your stall is the heart of the market. Oh ho, nice of you to say that. Fish sells right. Okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. Do you have a puzzle for me? You do not. Ah, I don't know what to do. I love airships, but Moo said he might let me have a go in a steam engine. He would have to pilot just about anything, wouldn't you? Airships are still number one, they fly. But trains can be cool too. Moose best engine can reach 75 miles per hour before the wheel melts. Also, ever since that amazing waterfall thing appeared in the lake, I've been wanting to ride in something else too. Something else? Well, a boat, of course. How else am I going to get into the island to see the ruin? Before the fishing boats would just paddle out and sit in the middle of the lake for hours, do or what, but not now. I hadn't thought about that, it must be pretty exciting to have an ancient ruin suddenly appear near your house. Too right, but now I'm stuck, should I become an airship pilot, or a train driver, or a ship captain? You could start with the boat ride, then you could see the ruins too. They are really amazing, I promise. Do you think so? Yeah, maybe you're right. It will be a proper adventure. Alright. Do you have a puzzle for me? You do not. Hey, we've got a great new addition to our menu. Wear these blindfolds and see if you can guess what it is. I don't want to. Oh, there we go. Well, this is a pain. I can't, for the life of me, walk out how to couple up these fly trucks. I've been at it all morning. That is problematic. If I can't even manage the local cargo, how can I ever hope to expand our little railway? Alright, let's see what we are walking with. Shunting into sliding tree. An absent-minded driver has left a right mess for a railway manager to clean up. To clear up, uh, but maybe you can. His engine and trucks should be stationed alongside the train on the top track, with the trucks in the exact same order. Of course, take control of the train engine and get everything where it needs to be. Okay. So according to this. This is the setup we need to be in. I just need to flip my train. There we go. Allow me to demonstrate. A truly elegant puzzle. Choo choo, driving train really is the most gentlemanly pleasure. Aha, there it is! May probably a doodle for you, learn professional types, eh? All the learning in the world cannot replace logical thinking, my dear man. And anyone and anyone can achieve that. Do you reckon, eh? How about you would uh how would you like to give up being a professor and come and run the railway with me? I'm good. Oh, 
I am good. Uh... Ah, Cordos, you were as delicious as you were oversized. Um, we don't have anyone here. I don't think I'm going to go and. Uh, I don't think I'm going to visit every single island. If I have more puzzles, I will go and grab them later. I think we should just uh, check out this island and then uh, jump into the main quest. So let's uh, finish doing our quick tour and then we shall uh, do the actual thing. Okay, we have another quest here. Yeah, another puzzle here. Chirp, chop, chop! Your friend got lost? Okay, I will see what I can do. Chop chop! Bemuse bunnies too. These two rabbits want to get back home, but the wet weather has left their roots completely ruined. Can you arrange the pets so that the black and white rabbits can go from their current position to their respective homes? The maze has been divided into six panels. It's up to you to arrange them correctly. Alright, so... Let's see... Let's say I'm doing this... This doesn't take me anywhere... This doesn't fit here... This doesn't fit here... This doesn't fit though. Yeah, there we go, now the white is going home. Okay, now I now need to fix this one. Uh, There is a path to the house, but I can't walk to it. And if I do this, it's missing out the other one. But let's uh, first of all find uh, a proper pathway for you. Okay, this is a pathway. This is not a pet way. This is not a pet way. Okay, so this takes you home. Now this lady is stuck. And this is up. Hmm. Okay. Since it keeps happening in both situations, it means that I need a different pet way probably for this lady. Let's give her this pathway. That's why do I have to give you? Let's work with it like this.
don't know, the connection is broken though. The connection is broken though. Uh... Okay, this seems promising. Yep, that should be called. Cool. Oh I've really thought about this one. I knew I'd get it right. Nice walk. The black and white rabbit will be able to return to the comfort of their homes now. Chip chip. You, I'm glad I could help. I hope your friend will be alright now. Chip chip? Really? You also got lost once? Chip chip? Chip 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 chip. And that's how you ended up living here. Wow, that must have been hard. Alright, let's do the main thing. Thankfully, I'm still missing uh, some of them. I have no idea how many I have in total. Oh, I have 205 total hint coins, but puzzles we don't know. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll figure it out later. I think we have more than enough for the story, so let's do the story and then I will come back for the other ones. Aren't I supposed to do it here? You know. Ah, I need to go to the, the nest, that's right. This ominous area is home to Tarjant headquarters. The tall building and tag line streets make it a most intimidating place. It is too, it is too quiet here. This is most unsettling. Hmm. I can't see a single soul outside. I was sure they would be waiting for us with weapons in hand. Hmm. Something is not right. Why did they let us land here without trouble? I've I've no doubt that uh, Bornev is expecting us, which means that his agents are probably waiting to ambush us in the streets. I'm afraid so. I wish they would just come out now and be done with it. Maybe Bornov actually wants to talk to us. Such arrogance. Very well, Bornov. If you wish to play games with us, prepare to lose. Let's march straight into their base then. They've practically invited us after all. Yeah, let's go. So this is the nest. It kind of looks like Gotham. Are we going to Gotham? So this is where the symbols in the Azran Dome directed us. The nest. I feel the power of the Aura Stone within. I'm sure of it. We're about to head deep into enemy, ter enemy territory. I can't say what might happen. Are you ready, Aura? I am. This is my mission and I intend to fulfill it. Don't worry, I'm here to protect you. I won't let Tarjan hunt and hurt anyone. We are lucky to have you by our side, Amy. Well then, let's strike down the cluster. Gunshots. What was that? It came from over there. We should investigate, quickly.
Oh, before we go investigate, let's uh, check out what's going on around there. There is something in the water bobbing up and down. I feel this water is too polluted to support aqu aquatic life. Ah, poor fish. The air here doesn't seem very clean. This appears to be a waste disposal facility. We should not tell you. Ew, this place smells disgusting. I could never live around there. Okay, more coins. Interesting. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Well done. I don't really see anything else in particular, so... It's pitch black in there, I can't see anything. Nobody bothers. Change the light bulbs in here, it seems. Let's watch our step as we proceed to here. Let's go. Oh, it's this guy. And we got the coin. Nice. Oh. There are so many stray cats in this area, it's a bit unsettling to be honest. What if they are not strays and they just got lost uh, on the way home? You know, look, that reminds me of a wonderful puzzle. Show me what you got, Mr. Layton. Copycats, too. These two kitties are so close. They like to do everything in just the same way. They've been for a walk around the neighborhood and are on their way home. But they will get upset if they are not back at the same time. Can you help get them home together? It's fine. There is different entrances. Be aware that when a cat stops on a space that's one move away from a fish, it will pounce to the fish. Start away, okay. You also need to make sure the cat doesn't bump into each other or fall into a ma any manhole. Alright. Um, I see. Okay. Yeah, I think I lost this one. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see.
Okay, let's try something else. Okay, not this. Step too much. Yeah, and okay, this needs to be restarted as well. And one step away. Hmm. Keep having one step away issue. Okay, so I try to get them both official at the same time. Beginning. It kind of worked until it didn't work. So let's try to do this. Now this is more equal. Let's see if we can keep it like this. One step away. One can go inside, the other one can't. From this angle, to change their angles. I think it is something to do with like both of them having uh, the two fish right at the beginning. We just got a call. Congratulations. Call from what? Or was it like a prank call? Because <laughs> they're not, not, uh, no, that's not good. Oh, well, they want, they want the job or two. Oh, that's nice. That's good. 
We didn't like three hours. Congrats. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good news. Hopefully you will have uh, an easy interview. What is the puzzle? You need to lead the cats to the house at the same time. So I'm trying to synchronize their movement in order to get inside the house. Uh, yeah, they always move opposite. Except when they are hunting for fish. They will jump away whenever I have a fish. So you see this is the beginning uh, setup. And then we need to like uh, do that. Then they jump whenever there is a fish. Jump whenever there is a fish. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm host. Um, because they are the opposite direction, they turn differently. Yeah, they turn differently. It's not really even the opposite. It's more like each one just moves their own kind of way. Like I control the black cat. So the black cat is always moving in my uh, movement. So you see like it go up, down, none of that. And the white one is uh, something else. Oh no, I know it turns one left, but what I'm saying is... I can see if I do this... It isn't that it turns uh, one left or two left or uh, something, it's just... Uh, the bo I control both, but they are not both positions based on the arrows. Basically, only the black one is positioned based on the arrows. So how do we do that properly? I change their positions to see if it's better from this angle. No? It doesn't seem to be better. No? I'm always one step short. They have the end. The house. The house is the end. That's why I keep trying to come to the house. Okay, that might be aligned properly. <laughs> or maybe not. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just them next to each other? No, no, no. I need to, I need to, get, them, to get them inside the house. Yeah, getting inside the house is... Uh, is not as easy as it seems. Huh? Yeah... I'm controlling part of the cuts. This is this this wasn't a question. This was a, that's a definite yes, but it is still a problem. I already did the puzzle like this before, but it wasn't as complicated as this one. This one is definitely more complicated. And I'm always one step away. Let's not get the fish. We'll get this fish. So you see right now, for example, I'm right in front of the house. But their positioning is wrong. It's like, please. Why are you like that? Why are you like that? It works, it doesn't work. I move down now. Does it? I don't think it does. Because you see? We have this situation. If I move here, we have this situation. So I'm one move away, still. Uh, let's see what happens if I flip the over. Move. Yes, we do this. Oh, I can go with one in the house, but not the other one. Yeah. All right. So this is not the way. This is not the way. This puts us in the house, which doesn't work. This might be a dead end. This might be a dead end. Yeah, this is a dead end. I tried that, I tried that, I tried that. This won't work, this might work, this basically make us both capture this fish.
I'm short one. Okay, let's try to minimize the distance. Okay, so we got this now. Um, this seems like a bad idea. Yeah, no, this is not going to work either. Also, check my poster is, is fine. I'm not shrimping. I'm not shrimping, so my poster is fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I tried to take uh, this fish. Let's not take this fish this time. Okay, that places us this way. So right now, if I go down, we both capture a fish. If I go forward, we both capture a fish. I don't think it will change anything. Yeah, our positions are actually very messed up. Okay, let's try. Let's try to change or capture which fish. No, this is messed up. Uh, you are right. You are right about what. Capture two with white, two with black, then tell us two at the same time with both. I don't think I can. I don't think I can capture uh, two with white separately. So far, all the patterns seems to be either I capture two at the beginning and two again, or I capture one and one. Uh, I mean, like one, one with black, one with the white. I can't. Uh, I can't capture two in a row. Is, uh, not as far as I've seen so far. I, mean, I can try, but so far it, uh, it didn't give me the option. Like I see, it's capturing this one. Now that's just messing me up. Um, two bit white. Yeah, this is dead end. This is capturing one already. This is both of them capturing one, and this one both of them. Well, black is capturing one. The white capture ones later. On. So yeah. there isn't an option to do what you want, Pebs. What you want is not accomplishable. At least not right now.
Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, so mean. So mean. Yeah, this is going to just throw me out. Alright. Um, let's see. What if I change positions? Can I change positions from this condition? This is that, this is fish, this is my fish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This will get the fish the cat, this will get the fish the cat. I'm stuck. And now I'm stuck. Come on, man. So right now we are synced, which means that no matter what I do, it won't be resolved. Okay. If we use this setup, it needs to be above. This will flip him over. Step away. What if I give the cat? That'll get him in. 
both of these fish. They sink still movement, which doesn't work for me. I have two positions I can catch the fish from. They look capture it from this position. It's behaving like this. Capturing it from here. They are still opposite, but I can't really do that because I'm one off. My drawing skills are getting much better. Why, well, thank you, stranger. Hello, hello there. How are you doing? How's uh, how's your drawing skills uh, has been progressing? I didn't. I don't think I saw you posting anything new. Have you been practicing, or have you been uh, busy with uh, with your studies? Okay, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. We have one new drawing. Oh. Can I do it like this? No, I cannot do it like this. Mm, man, these cats are messing me up. These cats are messing me up. I can send on this one. Yeah, send it send on this code, I will check it out. While I'm trying to hammer my head to the puzzle. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we do this. And now they'll sync the do that. Okay, so this seems bad. <laughs> this doesn't seem synced up at all. In a good position. Let's see this out. Oh, that's very different. Yeah, I don't think I've seen you draw anything like this before. Like you did the, uh, you did uh, the the other piece from a while ago, which was the tattoo, which was a bit different, and the dragons. That's right. Yeah, this one is like very very different. It reminds me a bit of uh, the phonics, 
just without the phonics. If you get if you get what I mean, <laughs> it's the phonics without the phonics. <laughs> Like the same, uh, the same dark style, I guess, as the phonics, but without the actual like wings and everything. The dark phonics. Walls? No, not walls. I'm saying different from the from your usual style. Like this one seems more like a, the dark phonics uh, from uh, like a X Men. Oh, you get it, okay. Yeah. Oh, a D and D character. I see. I see. I see. You know, funny thing is, is D and D a question? Weird question, Stanjo. Is D and D like popular in uh, Poland? Because over here it's like not really popular. Like almost uh, as far as I know, like no one, no one who plays D and D around there. It is like something like well spread in Poland. Hmm. Well, I'm dead. I'm dead. Um. Ah, these cats. These cats. I can't get them to be synced up properly. Like, uh, I don't have any experience like playing d and If I'm being honest. Like, uh, like I've seen D&D games. But when it comes to like... Uh, Playing it in my my own uh, counter and stuff. Not really, not really that popular. At least not as far as I'm aware. Of. Okay, so this setup is good for the house if I can get them to the house. So let's see if I can get them to the house. This might have messed me up. Yeah, that messed me up. Oh, he's going to jump to the fish no matter what I do from this setup. No, I hate it. Okay, this way I'm lined up properly, but we can go in. Uh, no, D&D in particular, but tabletop RPGs in some communities, sure. I think most popular is Warhammer and Vampire the Masquerade. There's also a Polish system called Niroshima. It is post-apocalypse. You may recognize it from uh, Niroshima X. I can't say that I do. I mean, I know Hiroshima. The Japanese uh, country that got uh, destroyed by nuclear bombs. <laughs> Can't say that I'm familiar with in Hiroshima. Again, I'm very... Um, how do I put it? I'm very lacking in knowledge when it comes to Dindy. Very, very lacking since uh, it just wasn't something that uh, really existed. You know. Let's see what this does. Okay, this syncs them up. Which is not good. Uh. Oh, they're all the synced up right now. That's not good at all. Okay, let's flip them. The 
they are too far away for me to do something proper. Hmm. Yeah, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Oh, hello there, Olivia. How are you doing? Are you up for some puzzles? <laughs> oh god, no, my cat. But it's frozen, no puzzles for me. It's very cold in uh, in Belgium right now. Like, you guys have a very cold weather right now over there. Same for most of Europe, which is uh, interesting. Like, how cold it is. Like, usually it's not uh, this cold in this time of the year. Like, even here. It's like it's a bit cold, like we are at, at like the the twenties, twenty ish Celsius. But usually we actually don't have a winter until later on. <laughs> so it's kind of funny that we have winter right now, but it's not very cold. We just have winter, <laughs> which is a weird condition. Minus six, yeah, that's that's very unpleasant. That's very very unpleasant. Yeah, I think I need to restart that. All right, all right. So... We need... to get both of these cats to the house at the same time. In order to do that, we need to sync them up using the fish. But... Keeps getting messed up. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we have this. We get this fish. Come here, I get this fish. Okay, now they're synced up this way. Now they're synced up differently. So right now when I go to the side, he will go in. But they're too far away. Got to go, it was not sketching up later. Oh no worries, Andrew. Have a, have a good rest of your day. It was uh, nice catching up uh, with you as well and seeing your new art. Do I go down or do I go up? Well, this cannot is. Okay, now the cats are synced up. Now nah, I will miss them up. Okay, now they're messed up. Like if I was next to the house in this position, it won't work actually because I'm too far away. In order for this to work, we will need to get the white cat a bit closer. Theoretically. I'm still amazed you remember me. Why, why won't I remember you? I don't have a goldfish memory, as far as I know. Um, if we go this way, it will sync it up a bit better. And there we go! Thank God, alright. If I just do this... Item at your service. Alright, nice. You are the cat whiskers. Those pesky fish surely did make life difficult. But you managed to get both cats home at the same time. Good work. 
the kitties should be safe now. It's nice that the cats in the puzzle made back home, but I do hope the real ones can fend for themselves. It seems the railway line was designed to take up the least space possible. They wobble every time a train goes past, it's scary. I wonder if the buildings are soundproofed. But yeah, as long as someone interacts with me, at least a little bit, I will probably remember. It's when, uh, it's when someone like that never interacts with me, <laughs> comes and he's like, Oh, hi! I'm like, hey, hello, do I know you? <laughs> It's like, yes, I sent a message before. I'm like, did you? I broke over by my message. So you sent one message. <laughs> yes, I, I definitely remember you after one message. My memory is, is amazing. You remember you after one message. <laughs> so, yeah. But I usually remember. I usually do remember. Uh, look how high those tracks are. The rails shake each time a train goes fast. It doesn't look very safe to me. Hmm. I do believe we found the hidden puzzle. Alright. Shunting into sl sidings? Sure. Oh, it's this thing, okay. One of your rookie train drivers has messed up and left his train truck in a mess. It is up to you to sort them out. His engine and trucks should be stationed alongside the train on the top track, with the trucks in the exact same order, of course. Take control of the train engine and get everything where it needs to be. Okay. Um. Okay, but I need the, the other one, I don't need this one. So, let's take you with me. Stop you here for a second. You can wait here. Ah. Alright, so we need to flip. Wait, this needs to be staying here. It's getting in my way. Alright, that's fine. Cool. It's two. Fine, let's do it this way. Right, I'm all set. I'm on top form today. Choo choo, train driving really is great. Fun. Okay, yeah, nice. If I lived around here, I don't think I would be, able, I would be brave enough to use the train. Eek. I know, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't for sure. Alright, this is done, this is done. So I believe we can speak to the guy. Ah, phew. Come on, Mark. You, you can keep going. Yep, you have to keep going. There he is! I don't let him get away! He is not to leave the city! Professor, wasn't that Mr. McIntosh? He 
it was, and it looks as though he has Tarjant at his heels. What is he doing here? I thought he was investigating Azran ruins. Hmm. Perhaps it was Tarjant's doing. Then we have to help him. Yes, of course. He went back towards the landing strip, I think. Over here. Oh, let's uh, have a chat. Reds, where, where did he go? Hey, you there in the pink. Have you seen a man come by with foppy hair and round glasses? I... I don't know. Hey, wait a minute, you are just like the girl the boss was looking for. Uh, never mind. No time for that now. Go to find Mr. Bob. Mr. Fop. Bob the Mob. What are you lot loitering around for here for? Get out of the way. Where did, let, that, where did that little round go? He's going to be in a world of pain when I find him. I don't think they are paying much attention to us. Then let us keep, that way, keep it that way. If we remain this strict, we will have a much safer chance of getting Mr. to Mr. McIntosh before they do. Ah, that's... Phew, I... I can't let them find me. Professor, Macintosh is just going into the big Tarjan ship. Has just gone into the big Tarjan ship. He did not uh, look well. No, I'm afraid he was. He has been injured. We must get to him before Tarjan do. All right. It's so dark. I can hardly see a thing. No one is here. I do not sense anyone else in this room. If the man is intending to flee the nest in this airship, he will have he will have added to the breach. But I doubt Targent will just let someone fly off in one of their military grade airships and not do anything about it. Then we should find him quickly. I've been here before, I can show you where the breach is. Ew, it's all sticky. Oh no, now I'm covered in some horrible sticky stuff. Keep your holy hands away from me. <laughs> um, Alright. Okay, so we can move this thing around. I wonder what these things are. I've got a pretty strong feeling that whatever inside can be good. Let's find from touching anything in here, shall we? Okay, we have a puzzle. It's locked. Uh, we can't get in, get it. Get, we can't get stuck here. I fear Macintosh has locked all the doors behind him to slow down his pursuers. But we have to get to him. Come on, there must be a way to open it. Alright, time for another safe cracking operation. Dial Trial 2. The cargo hold doors is locked again, and it looks as though Tarjant have upgraded the control mechanism. The dies are separated into quadrants, with circle and diamond symbols containing, contained in each quadrant, having a value of 1 and 5, respectively. Open the door, you need to align the dials so that the total value of every quadrant is the same. Spin those dials and help Amy open the door. Alright, so... Time to do some math. So right now we have 555, five, five, which is 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. So over here we have 55422, two. means we have have uh, 8 plus 10, which is 18. Oh, and also there is the inside. I forgot about the inside. Oh yeah, we have three rings this time. I see. Alright, so theoretically... 
we want to have the higher numbers around where we have lower numbers. Okay, this is probably a bit closer to what I want. Let's see. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's uh, let's do quick math. Uh, let's see. So five plus five is ten. Ten plus three plus four. So we have seventeen. Over here we have one, two, three. So we have fifteen. Fifteen plus five is twenty. Over here we have. 10 plus 5, 15 plus 6, 21. Okay, so right now this is the biggest one probably. 5 plus 4 is 9. Uh, we have 8 plus 2, 10, 13, 18. Okay, yeah, so this one is too big. Let's make it smaller. Okay, so it's a bit small. But this will make the upper one too big. Okay, this is completely off by doing that. So let's move it by one over. This is closer. I see. Okay, so right now we have about two of them in equal numbers and one of them is a bit off. How do I fix that? Okay, this is off by a lot. even more. And now this one is way more than the others. Okay, that might be the correct combination. Okay, let's see. So, 2 plus 2 is yeah, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 5 and 5 is 18. Let's slide it down so it'll be a bit easier to keep track of. Okay, so over here we have 18. Over here we have 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 2 plus 5, so we have 15, 15 plus 5 more is 20. So this is off a bit actually, unless I did something wrong, let's do it again. 5, 10, 10 plus 5, 15, this is definitely 20. Okay, maybe I made a mistake here. No, this is correct, this is also 18. This is 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 10, 15, 15, 14.
No, plus four. Plus four, so 19. Okay, this is 19, this is 10 plus 5. I Means this one is 19 also. Okay, so while it is correct on the image, not uh, so correct here. I need to adjust it by adding something to the other one and removing something from this one. So changing this one will... Wait, this one has 20 with... With this? Am I counting it right? 10 plus 5, 15, yeah, that's 20, interesting, uh, okay, so changing this won't really matter anything, so if we change the lower one, the lower one will give us too much of a rail, With too much of a rail. I wonder, maybe this is co the correct setup, but that's not the correct alignment. Let's move everything by one. No, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you can't rely on the picture too much. So, we just need to work out the numbers. So we have 20, 18, 19, 19. Okay. If I move the middle one, we will get 19 in the upper section. We we'll lose one, which will make it 19. So we we'll get 19, 19. The lower two numbers will change though, because we will get plus 6 instead of plus 4, and we will get way less though, because we will have Okay, so now we have 5 plus 5, which is 10, and 10 plus 7, so it's 17. Right? I didn't... Uh... Okay, this is 4, this is 3. Yeah, this is 17. Over here we have 5 plus 5, which is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 3 is 18. Over here we have 5, 5. 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. We can make it 13 to 5. So we have 15. 15 plus 4 is 19. Over here we have 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. We have 22 over here. This is a lot. For this area. Five, 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 five. Yeah, twenty-two. So how can I adjust it to make sense? It seems that most of my numbers are between 17 to 22, or 17, 17 to 20 for the most part. So it's probably one of these numbers that I need to match. Just need to figure out how to match it. Well, the main problem is that 
right now this one, the upper area. This is way too big for me to work with and for it to like work with other stuff. What if I will put this here? No, let's yeah, let's do this. Let's put the Let's try something. Yes, yeah, so these are five, 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 four. So right now we have more than twenty in this area. So what I think is that in these areas we need to have relatively small models. For example, something like this, which will make it 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15 plus 2, 17. But then the lower one is you have 10 plus 5 plus 6. We can move it one over. Okay, move it one over. Now we have 5 plus 5 plus 3, which is 18. 5 plus 5 plus 8. So 18. 5 plus 5 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6. Which is 21, which is too much. And this one is. 5 plus 5 plus 7, so we have 17. Basically, the top two are matching, the lower two are not matching. And to set it in a way that we make them match, also we make them smaller. Right now, they are huge. This will make it even bigger. This makes this one way too big. Uh, what if we go this way then? If we go this way, we have 5 plus 5 plus 9. Which is 19. Let's write it. Uh, this is 19. This is 5 plus 5, which is 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 4, 19. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 3, 3, 3, 19. 5 plus 5. Plus five, plus four. Oh wait, this is this is correct. Okay, nice. I mostly just adjusted right, the symbols to be more balanced and to really pay attention I'm too much to the numbers. You have certainly got this puzzle. This puzzle's number. The symbol in each of the four quarters should have a total value of nineteen. So much for touch and security. Alright, nice. Yes, Professor, it's open. Excellent work, Amy. Now, let's press on. Oh dear, is that Bishop? Oak? It's, is that Oak? What? What are you doing here? Nothing, just checking the environment. How about you? I see. Okay, we will pause them. 
Do you think those few drums are full up, Professor? I'm not sure, Amy. The one thing I'm sure about, however, is that they resemble a puzzle. Yeah, let's see what we got. A laborious 9 liter. Okay, this is a uh, liter's uh, problem. You've received a sudden request for 9 liters of fuel. No more, no less. It sounds simple enough until you realize that all you've got to work with are two drums that are too small and a, and a pump that doesn't stop pouring fuel until the, the, the drum is full. Small drums hold 5 liters while the large one holds 8. Another pump is broken, the machine's other feature still seems to be functional. You find a way to end up with 9 liters of fuel spread across these two drums. Okay, so we need to get basically 9. Alright. So let's fill this up. Move it over. Fill it up again. Move it over. We have two. Okay. We have two. Um, I can empty the eight. Two. In the five. Okay, so now we can make seven. And uh, then I need to get two more. Seven. So if I had one, it would be four. And then oh, we don't we don't need to worry about that. Just uh, move this. Okay, we've got a seven. Fill up the. Uh, up the five. Okay, so now we got five, we got this, so we empty this over, we empty that, transfer this, and we fill this. And that we go. Set him up and knock him down. Nice. Huh, that was a doddle. Well, oil B, despite working with a broken pump, you can still fulfill the request using a difference in capacity between the two drums. Even so, it will be a good idea to get that pump fixed soon. Smoothly down. Uh, Smoothly down? Sm Smoothly done. Now let's get going. Alright, I don't think we have anything else here, so let's have a chat. Don't even think about going to Odell. This guy is mine. I have to get him before the others do. Eat this. I'm eating a puzzle? <laughs> Alright. Funny hooks too. Watch out! If Lighton is not careful, those swinging hooks will knock his lights out. The hooks always swing back and forth, across the same routes. Examine how they move and plans Layton's steps carefully. Get him safely across the other side. Okay. So... I see. I see. This is a bad idea. Uh, okay, we need to go down. Go over here. Go up. Um. Okay, 
have a go. This was quite the conundrum. And there we have it. Nicely dodged. Once again, you've got late on a call safe and sound. Onwards. Ah, oh come on. Do you know how long it took me? It took it took for me to set those up. Macintosh went this way, didn't he? We need to talk to him. Step aside, or there will be trouble. No chance. The archaeologist is my prize. Capturing him should net me a nice fat reward from the boss. Now, now. Let us stay calm. Stand down, Amy. No, I don't care who I'm up against. I am your assistant and I will protect you, Professor. Please, Amy, he hear me out. If this agent wanted to collect a nice fat reward, as he put it, he would not be standing here arguing with us. He would have caught his quarry straight away and gone back to his superiors without a look in our direction. Why didn't he? Would it be that he is having second thoughts about his involvement in Targent? That, that's ridiculous! Is it so? Well, well then. Tell me why you carry no weapons. Surely a gun is standard issue for a Targent field op operator. Dot dot dot. Come at me, I believe Macintosh will have gone this way. Bye, Oak. There he is. Got a coin. Oh, I saw something. There it is. Still some old. Let's have a chat. Mr. McIntosh? Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, am, I, am I dreaming? You are not dreaming, McIntosh, please. Come to your senses. Uh, it's too late. I was going to hijack the ship. Left a belay. Don't, uh, don't, don't talk. You need to conserve your strength. You have to... Uh, Get away from here. Even if they promised you could study the Azaran, don't do it. Leave. Born uses armed enhancements to control the researchers. He's a snake. Twist words. Makes us into criminals. Please, Macintosh, you must stay still. You are injured. Listen, please. Everyone wants. You all just want to be free. To do our research without threats or constraints. If Tarjant can go back, back to what it should be, maybe our wish will, will come true. Please, Ron, stop him. Mr. McIntosh! Let's carry him to the Bostonios quickly. Quickly now. He needs urgent medical attention. Yes, there is no time to lose. Oh no. Okay, one of the mysteries has been solved. Suspicious man. Targent will go to any land to get their hands on other artifacts. It seems they were once mainly a research organization, but the Borns' ruthless ambition has led to them relentlessly increasing their military power. Borns seems to be using Targent to fulfill his own ambition. Hmm. 
How is the Raymond? Stable. I have uh, cleaned the wound and patched him up. And though he has lost some blood, his injuries are not life threatening. Thank goodness. That's a, re a, a great relief. In that case, can we leave him in your care? Of course, Professor. Please go, on, go ahead and pursue your purpose here. I will look after the patient. Professor, did you hear what Mr. McIntosh said earlier? What do you mean? He said something about Chargent going back to what it should be. Hmm, well, this is a mere conjecture, but I suppose Targent may not always have been the criminal organization it is today. Ahem, if I may interject. It's possible that a good man imbued with a strong sense of purpose may do his cause be true. Wait, what? It's possible that a good man imbued with a strong sense of purpose may do his cause be true be pushed to a reckless end. Calling his vision to the exclusion of all else, he sees only his goal. Not what it cost. It is a form of madness. Now, if such a visionary were to head a large and powerful organization, the very nature of the organization might become warped. So what you are saying is that the Tangent was made into what it is today by the ambition of its leader, Born. He, or perhaps, these are only the rumblings of an old man. I see. I will keep your, more, your word in mind. If Tarjant is warped, then it is our job to straighten it out, right, Professor? Indeed. Let's add deeper into their base. I suggest we add down the street that Magitosh appeared to be coming from. Over there, okay, cool, let's go. Did I actually speak to this guy? Okay, you got a puzzle. You there, what are you doing lurking around here? Oh no, we've been spotted, Professor. We are merely looking for something. Would you let us buy, please? And why should I, eh? You think I'm going to do it out of the kindness of my heart? Take this. I find it interesting that like everyone in this game attacks you with a puzzle. Jump injections. Or jump injunctions. Bob, it's me, you got to help. I was keeping watch at that junction when a copper spots me. So I speed away to the next junction, then keep going straight. He's still after me. So first chance I get, I turn right. Almost double back on myself, but not quite. Next junction, I take right. I take a right, and at the end, and the one after uh, after that, I take another right, and nearly double back on myself again. The junction after that, the junction after that's where I'm hiding now. Can you walk out where the cook is hiding? Okay, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alright, let's follow to what they're telling us. He's still after me, so first chance to get, I turn right. Okay, so we turn right first. Almost double back on myself, but not quite. Hmm, I wonder that... So I sped away to the next junction, I keep going straight. Back to the next junction, kept going straight. Okay, so I assume we're starting with A, okay? So we're starting with A, he moved to B, he sped to B, he went to D. Then he turned right, which means he went inside to C. Almost double back on myself, but not quite. Next junction, I take a right. And the one after that, I take another ride. 
Bedecke reit, Decke not right. The junction after that, that's where I'm hiding now. Okay, so if I follow that properly, he came here, he went straight, he kept rushing through this, he went here. Okay, so now he took a right, his face is uh, towards the lower area, so he took a right, he got to here. Then he took another right to go to here. And then he said, I took another right, which means it should be here, right? Uh, that junction took a right. But the one after that, I took another right, and nearly doubled back on myself again. Yeah, that should be correct, I think. You know, I think this may be it. I'm wrong. Oh dear. You be think carefully, brav. There is only one place I could have run to. Well, he said uh, right and right. So it should be there. I was keeping watch at that junction. What, what does this mean, that junction? I think we are not necessarily starting from A, I think we might be starting from a different place. I was keeping watch at the junction when the copper spots me. I sped away to the next junction. Then kept going straight. He's still after me. Okay, so... If I am to assume that we are starting from where the car is, so the car was between A and E, okay? So I was keeping watch at the junction when a copper spots me, so I sped away to the next junction. But it didn't start at the junction, it was starting in the middle of the road. Anyway, so I sped away to the next junction and kept going straight. He's still after me. So first thing I get, first thing I get, I turn right. Okay, so let's say he went here. He got here. First thing he got, he turned right, so he went here. Uh, he's still after me, first thing I said, yeah, I turn right. Almost double back on myself, but not quite. Next junction, I take a right, and the one after that, I take another right. So we took a right, so we are now here. We take another right, which puts us here, and then. What is that right? It will come from here to here. No, the right will be... This way, because we are facing downboard, right? Yeah, so this should be right. So we took a right, we go to here. Next junction, I take a right. And the other one, I take another right, and nearly double back on myself again. Won't he be up here then? Like he says nearly, but he's definitely double back. So confused, man. Let's shed some light on this one. I shall have to redouble my efforts. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. okay. I was keeping a watch at the junction. Well, a copper spots me. So I sped away to the next junction. Then kept going straight. So I assume that I probably think we wrong. I think they mean that they went downward, probably. So it went downward. And he kept going straight. Which means it went for F, because that's the only 
quote unquote straight tail. So we go to F. It's saying the first chance got it turned right. But if we go towards F, we actually can't go right, which means that no, the F is not is not uh, the path that we are taking here. F is not our path. Okay, let's try to think about it differently. So, let's say that he went to A, and then he says that he continues straight. His straight might be different from my straight, so he might have went for a C instead of B. So he went for C. And then he says, I turned right. Which, uh, according to where his car is facing right now, Right should be to E. Right, because it went here. Yeah, right should be E. So it went to E. Then he almost double back on himself, but not quite. Next junction, I take right, which makes him at A. And then Take another right. He says he nearly doubled himself again. This doesn't make sense. Well, this got broken. Um. Either I don't know my starting position, or I don't get what they mean by going straight. Because the way that I think about it, and they are telling me that, uh, well, I guess according interesting. So according to the map, it's actually a bit different. So you see, if you go up. So between A and B, there's this section, okay? They're saying it continued straight, but again, I think this might also be a straight, but let's, let's roll with it. So, he go to this junction, he continues straight, he go to here, okay? Then he says he took a right, so he went here. Then he says that he almost double backed on himself, which he didn't. But uh, he's saying that he's taking another right. So he's taking another right, it puts him here. Then he takes another right again. And he's back here. So he did double back on himself if I think about this way. But let's say that I'm wrong, okay? So let's say that this is the straight location. So he got here. So he took a right from here. He got here, he almost doubled back on himself. Okay, I can... I can believe that, kinda. So, from this position... If he takes a right... It will be here... And then here. But I think I only tied that, right? I only tied the... This is not what I want to open. This was quite the conundrum. Yeah, I'll try that. Failure only makes us wiser. <laughs> I think I misunderstand something here. You know? Well, this game. Hold on. Does this rely on the way that. You are supposed to 
drive roads in the UK? Because if it does, it means you need to ride on the different side of the road, because in the UK you drive on the opposite side. So theoretically, you might need to think of the other location as a right. I'm just going to die A real quick, just in case, but... Let's shed some light on this one. Yeah, okay. I shall have to redouble my efforts. This is supposed to be an easy one, but I get confused by that. So I sped away to the next junction, then kept going straight. He's still after me. So first turn is again to turn right. Okay, again, so based on that logic, he got here. He got here. Then first chance he got, he turned right. I must double back on myself, but not quite. Next junction, take a I take a right. And the one after that, another right. Which does double back on himself and puts me in A, which is why I, th why I tried A earlier. So let's assume that... They're saying we went... Over here, okay? So we go to here, then we turn right to C. Okay? Then from C, we turn right again, and then again. Which then, in this logic, it will put us in D. So let's you try know, there. I think this may be it. And it's still incorrect, I don't. Oh dear. What am I... I don't get it. Why Why is it wrong? I need to see the answer. Um, because I don't understand. It should be either C or E. So I'm just going to choose that and light see. On this one. Okay. Show me, show me what Excellent. I'm doing wrong. If I do say so myself. Clean getaway, or not. The crook was hiding at Junction C, but it looked as though the police have found him. Yeah, but how? Because... He went here, he kept going straight, he went to B. Then he turned right to C. Then he turned right, he go to E. Then he turned right, he go to A. If you continue to D, he turned right to C. Okay. Then he turned right again, he go to B. He turned right again, he go to D. If we went all the way down to F, we can't turn right. There is no right over there. Which means it will take all the way to E. If he turned right at E, he will get to C. And then if he turned right at D, he will get to F. Something, something that doesn't make sense to me. I don't get this one. Hmm. There now. I will ask you again. Would you let us buy, please? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. It just, this is the only chance blokes like me get to have a, a puzzle source. Oh. Alright. Apparently it's very often that we, that we didn't... Uh, want to stay with him. Ah, it's the Hetman! Stop right there! Kindly let us pass. We are here to see your leader, Born. Ha! Huh, you think you can fool me? With your mild look and fancy words? Here, let's see if you can outwit this puzzle. Sure, let's go. Number 118, Mutiny. Okay, those pesky pirates are back, once again. Move the pieces around the board according to the rules below, and turn the pirates into sailors. 
Thousand pilots can only move by leaping over pieces adjacent to them. Multiple saddles and pirates can be leapt over in one movement. Pirates that are leapt over will turn into saddles, and saddles that are leapt over will turn into pirates. Okay, so... No matter what, my starting is either this or that, so... I'll just uh, roll with this for a second. Okay, so apparently we're not allowed to jump this way. I see. So theoretically, I need to do this. Oh, I still can jump over this guy. How can we get this guy down? Let's say I jump from the middle. Okay, which means I have one left. Uh huh. I see. So if I jump above the... I have this condition. But then we'll stop like this, I see. Okay, so now... far away for me to do anything about it. This is why I went from the middle. If I would jump all over them, it won't matter because we will still have one left. If I jump back one here, it will give me this guy back, but then the other guy will still be the same, so it won't really change anything. There we go. You know, I think this may be it. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. Yo ho ho, that should read the high seas of the scourge of piracy. Ah, this is bad. This is very bad. You weren't supposed to solve that. But we did. Now, will you kindly let us pass? Yeah, that's it. You lot are going to get what you deserve, right, Rook? Dot dot dot. 
though. The headquarters are in that tall building right ahead. You will find the boss office on the top floor. Yeah, you can't miss it. Just go all the way up until... What? Don't lose it, Bishop. Listen, we've been all around the world in the last few months, and I finally had it. This isn't what I signed up for. I'm happy to go around running errands for the boss, but when it comes to killing people, I'm out. The well, Dargent, I quit. So I have no objection to letting you pass, sir. Um, thank you. Hang on a second, you're quitting? Leaving Dargent? You heard me, Bishop, I'm out. I'm sick of being treated like a pawn. We've had some good times together, though, eh? What are you talking about, you nitwit? You can't leave, we are partners. You think I'm going to just stand here and wave you off? Bad chance. If you are leaving, then I am leaving too. Hey boss, does this mean we can steal the Zeppelin? Hey, does this, does this mean we can steal the Zeppelin? I've always wanted to fly the thing. Wait, we are not finished discussing this, Bishop. Whatever, it never changes. Good luck then. Before you go, there are colleges that we were trying to help earlier, Macintosh, is in our ship. He has received some treatment for his wound, but he will still need to be seen by a doctor. If you are planning to escape, would you please take him with you? It's uh, the least I can do, sir. Perhaps we will see you again, when it's all over. Now then, Tarjant headquarters are in the tall building just here. And there we go. Dun, dun, dun. This must be it. The very heart of Dark Targent's evil operations. But it's deserted. How come there aren't any guards or anything? Because Borg isn't trying to stop us from finding him. Well, let's not keep him waiting. It is time to get the last egg back. There we go, the last mystery. The Targent Mastermind, Born, is waiting for our heroes in the Obsidian Tower, a skyscraper at the heart of the nest. As the commander of Targent, Born is undeniably a powerful man. But why does he need to lure Professor Layton and the others into his own turf? Why is he luring us here? If he, wants, if he wanted to get his hands on all the other eggs, he could have just had them stolen along with the other one. Yeah, I assume that we have something out there, that's why they show us the option. Only bad guys would have an eerie phone door like this. We are sure to meet heavy resistance in here, let's post it with Kel. I feel a mighty Azran force calling me. An ostentious adornment designed to intimidate, no doubt. I guess this is the kind of thing Tarjant are into. Hey, how could anyone admire such a vulgar decoration? Yeah, we got the coin. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Now the question is, do we have anything hidden? I don't think we do, but I'm just going to do a quick, quick check, quick check around the place. Yeah, I don't see anything, so there we go. Let's go. What is this? A 
feel Azran power emanating from that column. Did Bronwyn tell us to see this? Why? Who knows? How oh, the man's mind works. Hmm. I wonder if he built a tower around the column just to conceal its presence? Then graving on the column are Azran people's records left for those who would come later. They carved their history into this stone? I believe so. I will try to read it. Our secrets and our power have been locked away, sealed with the five aura stones. Only with these five will the path open. The sanctuary, back beacon, and our power be set free. It mentions the five aura stones, does it? Given Tarjan's recent actions, I think we can assume that they can read the script and are well aware of its contents. Indeed. And they may also have... Uh, and they also know what to do with the five eggs once they have been, have been gathered. This text explains it all. The Orstone guide uh, the holder to the sanctuary. Perhaps if I had all five stones in front of me, I could remember something more. It is there, just behind my reach. I can almost recall, but... No. Don't be upset, Aurora. You've already helped us a great deal. We know enough for now. Something still bothers me. If Tarjan knew they needed all five war stones, why didn't they all... When did they steal all of them, instead of just one? Why Lua's here? Well, I suppose we will find out when we see Born in person. Look, Professor, I think that's a lift over there. Shall we take it? Hmm, it appears to be our only option. I don't see any other way out. A powerful force emanates from the column. I've got no idea what this thing says. Who would have thought this place would contain such an enormous relic? A coin, nice. Oh. So, we have a guard posted opposite of the lift, and no other way up. He isn't very likely to let us pass. I think he needs to go for a little catnip. What are you planning? I gathered some of those Dormis Sophoris mushrooms while we were in Mosina, thinking they might uh, come in useful. The spores from just one of those should be got to sleep for hours. Now stand back everyone. Alright, Snoozy Snore's plan. Professor Sycamore has a cunning plan for getting past the Tarjan Guard. He has crafted two sleep bombs packed full of dormant sulfuric spores. And now it's just a case of bouncing one to the guard station. Bombs are deflected at the right angle when they hit a board. Additionally, whenever a bomb hits a board marked with a circle, the board itself will also rotate 90 degrees. It's up to you to fire bombs from the vent on the left and get one of them to land next to the vent in the top right. What? <laughs> what? I'm not sure what they want from me, but okay. Let me see what we're doing here. Uh, touch one of the five symbols on the top screen to throw a sleep bomb from the corresponding event on top screen. Oh, I think I understand. I see... Uh, 
guys. Okay, so... I'm going to try this again because it seems... It's doing something I do want to do. Okay, now let's try to do this. The location is not good here. Okay, this is just turn this one away. What does this one do? And this one. Okay. So if we do this now, it just sends it over there. Okay, so now it turned the thing over. But theoretically, that should be correct now. If I can get it to land on it. Not cool because we need the lower one to still be the same location. Well, not necessarily because if we can drop it in a way that uh, maybe this will actually work. No, I meant to, to do the other one. Okay, so we do this to turn the upper one. Then we do this. Okay, there we go. Allow me to demonstrate. A truly elegant puzzle. Sweet dreams, good work. That guard won't be bothering you for a while now. Phew, it looks like it worked. You really are prepared. I had to bring some form of protection. These Tarjan thugs would certainly have no qualms about using force against us. They followed Boron's order blindly, even if it means hurting innocent children. So yes, I came with a trick or two up my sleeve. Even so, if they catch us, if they catch us, uh, we could uh, be in deep trouble. I have no, fo no fear, Luke. I uh, will not let anything happen to you. But... Professor, I'm going to be a gentleman like you. I shouldn't need anyone to protect me. In fact, I should be the one protecting my friends. And that's what I plan to do. Ahaha. Ha. That's what I like to hear. Anyway, let's uh, get a move on. Alright, so now we can do stuff. Okay, just before I do it, do we have anything else to interact with you? No, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 Let's go. Hmm. I wonder how Mr. McIntosh is doing. He's probably fine. His injuries weren't as severe as they appeared. But he's with those thousand men. I just hope he's okay. You know, from what McIntosh said, it sounds as though Tarjant have other researcher here. Mr. Charles, yeah. 
Of course, Bornov likes to surround himself with experts. How else would he be able to solve all these ancient uh, Azan puzzles? But why would uh, all these researchers want to work for the bad guys? What makes you think they have a choice? Once upon a time, they could have been ordinary people, leading happy, uneventful lives. But when Borov threatened, when Borov threatened their families, it was either joint argent or, well, I'm sure you can imagine. Excuse, excuse me for asking, Professor, but what about you? You are a known expert on the other one, are you not? Yes, and Tarjant have certainly given me plenty of reason to resent them. Okay, so I think this is part of the reason why I become desolate. Oh. We are almost at the top. Uh, be on your card. Is that... Aurora, oh, uh, are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm alright. It's just the energy feels so strong here. Has it brought back more of your memories? I I yes, something about my mission from a time long ago. The memory feels different from my recent memories with all of you. It is familiar and yet frightening. It is okay, Aurora. We are here for you. We are here for you. Thank you, Luke. Professor, I will do my best. I will fulfill my role as a messenger. Yes, do, do we have anything here? We have a coin, nice. We have a coin. This art part is really old. Is it supposed to mean something? It shares many features with the other remnants we've seen as well. The power must have been built. The tower. The tower must have been built to house this enormous column. This is what is written here. We reached the apex of civilization. Ultimate knowledge was ours. What did we learn? The secret is kept by the messenger. As her heart is pierced, let it be revealed. Uh, what? And let enlightenment be delivered, our last legacy to the world. Our last legacy to the world? Wow, that sounds pretty momentous, if you ask me. In a manner of speaking, perhaps, it is hard to be sure, but I feel the other legacy I feel the Azran legacy to us is not a blessing, but a terrible threat. That's ominous. Hello, Dot. Hmm, perhaps depending upon our actions, the exact nature of their legacy may change. Interesting. So perhaps it can either... It, so perhaps it can be either good or bad. What do you suppose Born hopes to find? Treasure? Some kind of weapon? I couldn't even hazard a guess, but we've already seen Azon technology that can alter climate and harness the waves. Whatever this last legacy is, it will certainly be powerful. And though I can't say what Born's ultimate goal is, it is clear he intends to use this power for his own ends. With better hurry, we cannot leave the last egg in Bones in Bones position. Okay, we have something here. Midnight Nights. Okay. And the coin. Getting problem. 
so let's look at this thing. It looks as though there is another lift going straight up from here to the top of the, to the top floor. Okay, let's get in. Um, professor, the lift won't open. Look, there is look, there is some sort of control panel here. It appears we need to enter a code to activate the lift. You mean a puzzle? One hundred and twenty-one. Touch ten buttons. Right. The control panel for this lift contains 25 buttons, 10 of which need to be pressed to activate the lift. The rows and columns are marked with numbers that indicate how many buttons in a row or columns need to be pressed. No button should be pressed on a row or columns marked 0. Now choose careful and press the 10 buttons to activate the lift. Okay. Touch buttons with stylus or press on them and touch them again to attend them to their original state. The numbers on the holes and columns tell you how many buttons to press. Touch the meet when you think you're dancing. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Over there we also need four. But we don't know the exact location, so we'll wait. Uh, the one is done. Over here, we need two. It should be here and here, then. Okay. Then we have a one. We know for certain that there is a one here that we need. But then it will mess up this thing, so we have this. And this is just filling up the two things that we are missing, I guess. Sure, let's try. Am I sure of the button? One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I did press on one of them. Uh... Okay, I guess I just pressed the extra ones. You know, I think this may be it. Okay, no. Oh dear. At least we haven't triggered any security systems. I thought they did it correctly according to what they told me. Do they need to be... No buttons should be pressed on rows with columns from yeah. zero. Oh, it's because... I need to switch them. My intuition should serve me well. I messed up over there. I didn't satisfying pay attention. Puzzle indeed. On the button. Now, let's move on. Good. Then up we go. Up, up and away. I'm surprised that anyone would build such a tower large enough to enclose a great Azran pillar. It is no doubt that uh, it, no, it is no doubt just another way for Borov to exhibit his wealth and power. A transparent and tasteless endeavor. Hmm. I did not I did not realize until now how important the Azran civilization was. I just don't know if anybody I just don't know if somebody solved the mystery of the Azran. What will become of me? I know you are anxious, Aurora, but we are sure to get some answers when we talk to Bronf. Yes, yes, you're right.
Anime time. This must be Bronze Office. Ack, it looks very intimidating. The egg is behind those doors. Excellent, then let us press on. Okay, we have someone in front of the door. Can we go into these side doors too? Hmm, it seems neither of them will open. Perhaps they only open from the inside. Oh, it's a long way down. I don't even want to think about how how high up we are now. How fitting that this is indeed the tallest structure in the nest. Something for a second. Might be the guy. Might have been like uh, mocking for a moment. Yeah, let's have a chat. Professor Herschel Layton, you are here to see the boss. And who are you? My name is no concern of yours. I'm here to determine mine. Rather, you are truly worthy of the boss time. Should you not uh, be out there searching for your escaped prisoner? That pitiful ecologist is just a pun. No use expending energy on him. I'm more interested in you and your qualifications. Let's have a look at your results quickly now. Let's not make any of this harder than it needs to be. Hmm, looks like you have solved the required 75 puzzles. You've been busy, okay? In you go. The boss is waiting. That man, that Macintosh, was it? We get a few troublemakers like him, who can't take orders. They usually end up running. He wanted his freedom. I cannot blame him. We are on the verge of acquiring the power of the greatest civilization that ever lived. Only a fool would throw that away. A fool or a weakling. Don't you understand? Sergeant would never have come this far without using strength and authority. But you kidnapped people, and they are lucky enough to have a part in our glorious mission. The very heart of Tarjant is in its military, in its military might, and the great man who wields it, Commander Bonf. Hmm. hmm. I lost my cool there. Never mind, you will understand when you meet the boss. Go. Very well. Very well, we shall go. Bronf is waiting for us. Once we enter the room, there will be no going back. Are you ready for this? Once you go to this door, you will be unable to target freely until you complete the main story. Make sure you have done everything you wanted to do before proceeding. Yep, I'm good. Of course we are ready, Professor. It is time to get that egg back and finally solve the other mystery. So Bronf is just behind those doors. If we can get the, the last aura stone back from him, I, be I believe my memories will come back to me. Yes, the time has finally come. I feel like he will betray me. I, I can't shake this feeling that he's going to betray me. Well, well, well. At long last, here you are. How do you like the, this nest of ours? Born of you soulless monster, I will make you pay for what you've done. Ah, you've brought some extra baggage with you along, but along with you, I see. However, I have no interest in your praying of fools. No, no, Professor Layton, you are the one I've been waiting for. 
I would like to extend an invit I would like to extend an invitation to you to join Tarjant. I beg your pardon? This is an absurd joke. Don't listen to him. Don't faint surprise later on. You are, after all, an archaeologist. One who has seen the other in ruins and knows their significance. Power and wisdom behind anything that mankind possesses, possesses today. Don't tell me you are untempted. Dot to dot. The advancement of man's knowledge is a worthy goal, but one that should be pursued in freedom, not at the cost of human rights. Hmm, such a noble sentiment, however. You also are here today because you seek, you seek the other net. Eggs. What difference is there really between you and me? We are nothing like you. We understand the importance of free will. Why would we ever want to become your slaves? Free will? Huh. Are you so attached to your independence that you would forgo the rewards of working together for a greater goal? No matter. Let us not dwell on our disagreements. How about a little game? This one is a favorite of mine, a simple coin game. The winner takes the other eggs. Are you in, Layton? Very well, what are the rules? I should lay out 24 coins in a row. You and I will take turns picking up the coins. On your turn, you may pick up one, two, or three coins, as you prefer. The same applies to me. The person who picks up the last coin wins the game. It is as simple as that. Ah, it is a game of strategy, I see. Now then, let us begin. I will let you decide who goes first. Um. Go first? Okay, so solve the puzzle. Let's see. So let's take three. Took one. He took one again. Does he only take ones? Okay, so if I take three and it takes one, he's going to. There's going to be one more left. If I take three now and it takes three now, there will be two left. If I take one now. Okay, let me see. If I take 2 now, and it takes 1, there is 5 left. If it takes 1, I can take... No, wait. It takes 1. If I take 3, there are 5 left. If it takes 1, there are 4. If I take 2, there is 6 left. If it takes 1, there are 5 left. Take one. Okay, so I will take two right now. Okay, so if I take one, it takes three. If I take two, okay, this is a loss. I I need to do a one. Yeah, let's do that. So it does change his uh, picking at the end. Uh.
Okay, so now I'm going to take one. Okay, taken three. Uh huh. Okay. I wonder if it changes how much it takes based on how much I take. Let's see if I take two. He takes two as well. Okay, so if I take one, it takes three. So right now, if I take one, and it takes three. Three, three, two. So right now we have eight. Okay, so if I take two, he can either take, he either will take two as well or will take three. If he takes two as well, there will be four left, so it will win. If I take one and he takes three, there's four left and he wins again. If I take three and he takes one, then there are. If I take two, he takes one. There are four left. If I take one, he wins. If I take uh, two, and it takes two, there are four left. Am I just not supposed to begin? Is that a trick? I feel like I'm missing something. I see again the same situation. Okay, so he takes three. I will take three. He takes two. I will take two. He takes one. Okay, so if I take three and he takes one, there will be four left. If I take one and he takes three, there are still four left. If I take two, if I take two, I don't there are six left. If I take three, so there are six left. So. He needs to take 3 in order for me to win, which uh, is probably won't happen. So I need to take 2. If I take 2... Take 2, there are 7 left. Let's try it. So we have 7 left. Now we are in this situation. <laughs> so I need to take one. Yeah, I need to take it one in that situation. Now I'm going to lose though. So we'll stop. Okay. Let's follow the same pathway. So one.
Okay. So if I take two... Never take three. If I take three, there are four left, and then I win. Okay, there we go. This is the pet way. Puzzle solved. Okay. Well then, bro, I appear to have won. Now, I believe the other egg was the price we could on. I suppose I have no choice, do I? You can have the egg, but before you start to feel smug, I would like to show you something. My father and mother. You've outdone yourself today, my dear. Everything. We have, we have done yourself today, my dear. Everything is delicious. But of course, don't you know what day it is today? It is the day we brought little Ash along. More than 30 years ago. Now, can you believe it? Has it really been that long? Yeah, it has really been that long, I suppose. Yes, I suppose it has. But we've been lucky, haven't we? It has been such a happy time. So it has, so it has. No, how? A charming old couple, are they not? You must be very fond of them later on. I. What do you intend to do to them? Nothing at all, if you accept my invitation. Don't pay any attention, Professor. It is a trick. How tiresome you are, I warn you later on. If you listen to his drivel, I will have no more mercy for you than I had on him. Now then, the choice is yours, what will you do? I... my parents. No, I will never join Tarjant. You won't? <laughs> so you don't really care about your parents after all, and I thought you were such a soft-hearted man. So you won't accept my offer? Suit yourself. Oh. I won't, uh, I won't co coerce you. I would rather let you go free and see what you do. Here, have the infamous egg. But not this, later on. Wherever you go, I will be just one step ahead, waiting for you. So long, boys. Professor? Threatening your parents, that man, depravity, knows no bonds. No bonds. Professor, are you sure that was, I mean, what is going to happen now? I don't know, Luke, but that footage wasn't live, thank goodness. It wasn't? That party took place last week. I was sorry to miss it. In fact, I spoke to my mother on the telephone just yesterday. My and Pa are perfectly fine, for the moment at least. What a happy coincidence! What a happy coincidence that you called them so recently. It was, wasn't it? I must hope that the bone is too confused on the other, on, on the other one. No, I, 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 I'm winning it all. I must hope that bone is too focused on the other one to follow through with his threats. The thought of him harming my parents. He had me so shaken. I was fooled at first, you know. If Professor Sycamore had not interjected, I fear I would have given in. Thank you, Professor. I'm extremely grateful. It was nothing. I'm familiar with Tarjante trickery. Speaking of which, I wonder if this egg is just another trick. The last egg. It is real. Egg acquired. This is the last Dora Stone. Professor, I... Uh, once I release the power of the Aura Stone, I may not be myself anymore. Are you certain, Aura? Ever since we entered this tower, I have experienced a very strong feeling. Not, happenings or, not happiness or sorrow or fear, but something more like compulsion. The urge to fulfill my mission, to remember my duty, as the Azran emissary. 
I feel a great gulf between myself and all of you. Do not worry, Aurora. You are more than just the other emissary. You are also our trusted companion and our friend. Whatever anxiety gripes you, we face it together as one. Do you really mean that, Professor Sikamon? Professor Lighton? Of course, no matter what happens, we all believe in you, Aurora. Thank you. Thank you. Your words have given me strength. I'm ready to activate the Aura Stone and release the power. But not in here. We should go outside for this. Anime time! We do that, do we have anything else? There's a lot of books, oh, that's a lot of books, alright, and none of them looks lighter either. I find a collection of important archaeological tomes. I can't even read the title of most of these. Time to eat again. These notes look really complicated, what uh, do they all mean? The location marked on this map must have some significance. I must confess, there are some books here that even I haven't read. Oh. Oh wow, I think I've just found some kind of coded mark on this globe. I think I've just found... Wait, some kind of... Coded marked on this globe. Some kind of code marked on this globe. Okay. I think I found some kind of code marked on this globe. I suppose he's he head of Targent, after all. Do you think you can work it out, Amy? I need water. I'm dying. Uh, X marks question mark. There is something odd about this section of Bronze Globe. It shows the location of a boy, along with six color dots. Underneath all of this, there is what appears to be some kind of code. X1, L2, L3, 4, 1, R1, R5, R1. It sounds like a <laughs> controller buttons. Uh, there are no other directions, but in fact, this code is all that's needed it's all that's needed to work out the boy's destination. See if we can work out which of the color dots he needs to go to. Then circle the answer. Okay. So I assume that X is where we are starting from. So it says... Go one left. So the green one. Go two left, and then it's, um, it's real. Okay. There's something odd about this section. The chosen location boy, along with six color dots, underneath all there is appears to be some kind of code. There's no other direction, but in fact the code is all that's needed in order to work out the boy's destination. See if we can work out which of the color dots he needs to go to. Then circle your answer. I am uncertain what this means. Cross one left. Cross one left. Two left. Three right. Cross one left. One left. Okay, so 
if we are saying cos one level, like if we are saying that the x means cos, then it should be either the blue one or the orange one. Then two left will be the next thing that's being says. Which means left left will be the green one. I guess. Um Then three right, which will place us on the red one. Then one right will place us on the blue one. Then five right, so it will be one, two, three, four, five will be the orange. And then one more right one will be the blue. I think. If I'm wrong, it means that I need to do it based on where he stands. So let's, let's try, let's see what happens. This is how it's done. Okay, I was right. Good stuff. That's right. The number indicates a number of squares. X, X indicates upwards. And L and R indicate left and right accordingly. If X indicates any other direction, left, right or downwards, the boy would only end up lost at sea every time. Interesting, that's not actually not how I solved it. I solved it slightly differently. Like I didn't actually look at the, the lines at all, but I still go to the same location. Oh. All right, I mean, it works, so it don't matter, I guess. But okay. We've deciphered the code on the globe, but it didn't tell us anything about where Born was headed. Maybe it was a deco puzzle. So we've been head? The whole purpose of that globe was to trick us? That's just mean. Let's go have a chat. Is everyone ready? I shall begin. Oh, five stone of aura. Hear the call of the emissary. Reveal into the world your true form. Okay, time for the most important puzzle. The other run eggs. Um, awoken by Aurora's command, the five eggs have each begun projecting a beam of light. However, something about the beam seems off, resulting in the unlit patches seen on the ground. Taking one egg at a time, adjust the beams by moving the purple squares with the stylus and then Give a very brief tap to make the dark squares light and vice versa. If you light up all the dark patches to create a solid beam of light, the eggs will activate. Do this with all five eggs and get them to reveal their true form. Wait, what? There's something... Uh... Only patches seen on the ground. Uh, taking one at a time, adjust the beam by moving the purple square with the stylus and then giving a very brief tap to make. I'm going to just tie it. Oh, I see, it's this kind of puzzle. Slide a set of purple squares to adjust the beam, then give the screen a brief tap. Dark squares will turn green, 
while green squares were turned down. Every turn, every square, green to activate the air gun. Okay, so... How to be the quickest way to do it? Do that and we do this. We put one here, one there. I didn't want to do this, it will uh, move the... Oh wait, it doesn't even... Oh, it does. It will. Okay, that was apparently only one. of a weird shape. Okay. Time to work with age. I'll show this is correct. I think this might be a mistake. Okay, well, this is fine. All right. You know, I think this may be it. Puzzle solving is a most gentlemanly pursuit. Cracked it. You can't make an Azran key without breaking a few eggs. I never expected the eggs to change their shape like that. This is it. The five eggs, or five keys, combined into one master key. That will unlock the power of the Azran. Anime time? Yet. The Orstone. Or oh, oh, use their mysterious power to combine the five eggs. Together they form the keystone that will unlock the legacy of the Azran. It transpires that each egg is not a key in its own right, rather they combine to form a single key. <sighs> or oh, is something wrong? My my head uh. No, I don't believe it. It is it is a lie. What is it? Oh, I'll come back. Anime time. The power of the Azran must not be unleashed. I I remember everything. I remember what the Azran legacy is. I remember who I really am. What do you mean? As long as I remain, only ruin awaits. But if I were gone... That's not true. Even if you were to leave us now, it's too late. Events beyond our control are already in motion. The world is in great peril. Your death will not change that now. So what am I supposed to do? Come with us. Help us secure the Azran legacy. It is all come back to me. 
all the things I didn't want to remember. Did the key stone trigger those memories? Yes, the Azran have a message for whoever should manage to piece it together. In the place of awakening, the, get the gateway stands. Open the way, enter the sanctuary. There our power lies. As the key was constructed, I knew these words. I feel I have always known them. The sanctuary of the Azran steers. It called to me, no, we must dispose of the, key of the keystone. We can't let the last door be opened. Come now, Aura. Aura. You are just feeling a little overwhelmed. Perhaps the power held in this key is too much for you. You. Perhaps you are right. Even now, the power flowing through me is almost too much to bear. Is... Even now, the power flowing through me is almost too much to bear. You look rather pale. We should take some time to rest before we attempt our next step. I will look after the key in the meantime. Now, try to get some rest. Thank you, Professor. Is he going to be us now? Huh. His eyes. Hmm. Hehehehehehehe. <laughs> Time for the reveal. We've been already aware from the beginning. Is something wrong? <laughs> I win this round, wouldn't you say, Leighton? It can't be. Recognize me now? Descolet. You? You were with us all along? But why? I don't understand. Why what? Why did I take you with me all over the world? My only concern, my sole purpose in life is to bring down Targent. Targent took away everything that was important to me. What? I knew you would be an asset in my battle against them, so I used you later. It is as simple as that. Who are you, really? This is no time to recount my life story, Leighton. I must take my leave. Until next time. Ah, he's getting away! He's going back to the Bostonius! Quickly, we cannot let him escape. Dun, dun, dun. Professor Sycamore, the archaeologist who called himself Desmond Sycamore, was none other than Jean Descollet, Professor Leighton's nemesis. Descollet's intentions were once shrouded in mystery, but it appears that he was only working alongside us to fulfill his own goal. Surprise, surprise! Come on, we have to go down after him. Who knows what Descolet might do with the power of the Azran. Hmm. I fear that going back the way we came will take too long. But let's check Boron's office. Maybe he has a, a super quick ex ex exclusive lift or a giant fireman's pool that goes all the way down. Yep, a giant fireman's pool. That's exactly what I expect to have in Boron's office. I'm confident that we will find something in here to help us. Really, Professor? How is anything in here going to help us catch Descolet? Well, believe, I believe our best bet is to mimic him and launch ourselves from the top of the tower. Huh? We can jump off a building this tall. It is the fastest way down. Without a doubt, however. Without a doubt. However, I do intend to jump. So... I do not intend to jump so much as glide gently down. Oh, I get it, Professor. You want to build a sort of hang glider. Precisely. Now let us look for suitable materials to build one. Let's the books. Ah, 
this should uh, do the trick. Given the creature's wingspan, it should easily hold a man's weight. Can we really build a hang glider with uh, this professor? What better frame than the skeleton of a pre of a Petrosaurus? Petrosaurus. A creature built for gliding. Its skeleton perfectly adapted. It is yeah, its skeleton is perfectly adapted to the task. Now, could you please give me a hand? Hmm. I think that should do it. It feels very sturdy. I think this might actually work. Dun, dun, dun. Looks terrible. <laughs> now they're not sorry. Professor, are you really going to jump off here? There is no time for second thought. For second thoughts. This collar will not linger here in the nest. Be careful, won't you, Professor? Do not worry about me. You three should make your way down the tower and head back to the landing pod. Fuck, Professor! Come on, Luke. We need to get going too. Anime time! What are you planning? Descolade, this is bigger than us both! You can't stop me! The Azran legacy is all I have to live for! What are you talking about? Enough! Before Descolet took the key from Aurora, he also heard what she said, didn't he? In the place of awakening, the gateway stands. The place of awakening, that must mean the ice cave where we found Aurora, right? Yes, Descolet is doubtless on his Descolet is doubtless on his way to Thornborg now, yet we have the Bostonius. Professor Sycamore. And off we go. Right. Save my progress, yes. Chapter 6 The Azoran Sanctuary. I think that's actually where we shall uh, wrap it up for today. Because we just started a new chapter, which means that it's going to be quite a while, and we already went for slightly over five hours. And uh, I would like to not uh, not go for like uh, too long, since I didn't take any breaks today. So let's actually wrap it up here today, and then uh, finish the game next time. Also have uh, uh, extra stuff and whatever, so we also need to do probably like a stream or two, so yeah. But anyway, let us uh, wrap it up for today. Let's do that. Alright, so thank you for watching, thank you for hanging out, and thank you for keeping company. But that shall be it for today. And per usual, if you liked what you've seen here, make sure to drop a follow if you're on Twitch or on any other platform that you are watching this on, because I do upload it in a lot of places, so subscribe, follow, whatever it is that is on the platform that you are watching it on. So, yeah. But as far as today, that should be it. 
Thank you. And uh, bye-bye.